It was 26 years ago and I was just about to turn five. We got to the train station and we bought a train together. My brother just said, I'll stay here and I'll come back. And I just thought, well, you know, I might as well just go to sleep and he'll just wake me up. And when I wake up the next day, the whole carriage was empty on a, on a runaway train, you know, a ghost train taking me I don't know where. I was adopted out to Australia to a uh, Australian family. And mum had decorated my room with the map of India, which she put next to my bedside. I woke up every morning seeing that map, and hence it sort of kept the memories alive. People would say, you're trying to find a needle in a haystack, so you never find it. You know, I'd, I'd have flashes of the places that I used to go, the flashes of my family faces. There was the image of my mother sitting down with her legs crossed, um, just watching her cry. It's, life is just so hard. That was my treasure. I was looking at Google Map, I realised there's Google Earth as well. A world where you could zoom into. I started to have all these thoughts and what possibilities that this could do for me. I said to myself, well, you know, you've got all the photographic memories and landmarks where you're from and you know what the town looks like. This could be an application that you could use to find your way back. I thought well, I'll put a, a dot on Calcutta train station in a radius line that, you know, you should be searching around this area. I sort of came across these train tracks and I started following it and I came to a train station which reflected the same image that was in my memories. Everything matched. I just thought, yep, I know where I'm going. I'm just going to let the map that I have in my head to lead me and take me back in my hometown. I came to the doorstep uh, of the house that I was born and walked around about 15 metres around the corner. There was three ladies standing outside adjacent to each other. And the middle one stepped forward and I just thought, this is your mother. She came forward, she hugged me, and, uh, and you know, we were there for about five minutes. She grabbed my hand and she took me to the house and, and got on the phone and she rang my sister and my brother to say that, you know, your brother has just all of a sudden appeared like a ghost. And then the family was reunited again. Everything's all good. They helped my mother out. She doesn't have to be slaving away. She can live the rest of her life in peace. It was a needle in a haystack, but the needle was there. Everything's there. Everything we have in the world is uh, at the tap of a button. But you've got to have the will and the determination to wanting it.